Federal officials say thousands of personnel and billions of dollars will be available for the response to Hurricane Milton. ABC's Christian Cordero reports on the politically motivated misinformation being spread in the wake of Hurricane Helene. Good morning. Officials say there are 5,200 responders on the ground across all of the states impacted since Hurricane Helene. As day breaks on the overnight disaster unfolding in Florida, federal officials have one lasting message for everyone in Milton's path. We are prepared for this. We will certainly um, have challenges along the way um, as we move people around, but this is what we're good at. This is what we plan for. FEMA says thousands of personnel are on the ground and that the agency has more than $11 billion in its disaster relief fund. President Biden says local and federal agencies are both in constant contact. We've already directed the Department of Defense to be ready to provide active duty service members. Ahead of Milton making landfall, Vice President Harris called into the Weather Channel, echoing the dire warning from emergency officials and pushing back against DeSantis's claim that she's politicizing the storm. I welcome every and anyone to work with me and for us to be able to work together. It stems from a wave of disinformation amplified by former President Trump's campaign, which spread false claims that funding used to house migrants has come out of FEMA's disaster relief fund. She's just led the worst rescue operation in history. Claims officials on both sides of the aisle and those affected by the storm say aren't true. A lot of the stuff is not about the people that got impacted. It's about people wanting to make themselves seem important. Uh, say stuff that's just outlandish, trying to get clicks and attention that has nothing to do with getting information to the public. Residents in the storm zone got a $750 payment meant to help with immediate shelter or food, according to FEMA. Larger grants will be distributed in the coming weeks. Christiane Cordero, ABC News, Washington.